I would just like to point out that the Prime Minister is announcing new restrictions that's going to be happening today. So all watch the news this evening and uh, get ready for the impending storm. Yeah, and we'd like to know, W-E-N-O-T-N-O, if they say anything about universities. Um, I do think the universities are, are, you know, they should have just really stayed stayed away. Well, John, yeah, that's that's the, one the, the one point of view. It's well, it's it's been a complete. In one sense, it's been a complete disaster. But you can, whatever the government did on that 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 idea, they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to win because it's 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 not necessarily everybody's favourite thing to do work online, not even from a university student's point of view. And uh, and another thing is that you 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 wouldn't less all of this has been done in an emergency and it's just it's just no if it was me I I would have rather probably I would have rather I I'm just saying if it was me if I if I was coming from far away to go to university any university I wouldn't necessarily. If I if I was at university in London, I wouldn't have necessarily wanted to go back to university right now, um, and it's a shame because no matter what the, no matter what the government decision is, and I will back them when I think it's necessary. Whatever the decision they would have made, it wouldn't have necessarily been the right one because if you if you if you if you think about the economy at this stage, you, you're gonna you're gonna trigger more coronavirus. But if you think about coronavirus, you're gonna damage the economy. So no matter what they do, they can't win necessarily. I'm not saying they're right, but they cannot win no matter what decision they make. So it's a catch twenty two. Well, but, it is. Um, Boris Johnson needs to be a bit more clear. He needs to have a bit more, cl- uh, you know. You need to be a bit more. Cl- what do you call it? Clear. Um, clear with people. I think it's a lot of confusion, but I think you know at the beginning of this. Weren't they talking about all the public pulling together, uniting, and or was that just my imagination? No, no, that was in the first phase. Yeah, it was in the first phase. Now we're in the second phase, but I just, I don't expect people are expecting it to come back at this at this. Alarming no. rate, no, because it just seems no. like so. So, John, if I can just interrupt a little bit, I, I think I think the decision to reopen the campus was made at the point where they were also talking about um, reopening the restaurants and the pubs and all those sorts of mm. places. And so I, I, it, made, it, made, it probably made sense at the time. But yeah, but things so. change. That's the that's the thing. This this coronavirus is changing re- quite rapidly, and it's not really something that. It's not really a, a decision that you can make months and months ahead, really. You've got to see it, you know, week by week, day by day, month by month. You, you know, you can't all sit in an office and and have a coffee and say, oh, this is when the university is going to come back. And, you know, how, you know it's not going to stay the same. It's, it's getting worse anyway. We've gone around in circles. It's uh, the track and trace app is something to be desired for. Um, it's all not great, and the coronavirus is dominating the whole world. And uh, yeah, can't see any light at the end of the tunnel. To be fair, anyway. Well, anyway, what, what, what I'd add is that I, I um, I gathered from Spotlight Southwest on on BBC during last week that there would be a national announcement about universities. So nothing special about Exeter. Uh, but I don't think Exeter University is a be or end or anyway. But well, no, it's not. No, but it's important locally in Exeter, isn't it? Well, yes, but people love to come and study here. They do. The Chinese in Exeter is very popular. Well, this is this it's, is it's yes, a very popular area for some reason. Well, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, not, it's not a mystery, John. It's a wonderful university. There's no doubt about that. I know it's that. a wonderful university, but I wonder what attracts all the Chinese to come to Exeter when. When there's plenty of universities and uh, you know all the all, all over the rest of the country that they that they could go to, there's um, but there must be something in particular about Exeter that these students like. Yeah, but, but that just shows that 
Exeter is a remarkable university. I it is. It yeah. is a remarkable university. Yeah, but it, um, it's just if anybody, well, if anybody's got any information, uh, because it just seems to, from what what has been leaked about whatever it is that's going to be announced, the university just seems to have gone really as a topic. Right. There's very little information. Uh, so if anybody does know anything, we're here till about four. Well, we'll be here, we'll be here till about quarter to four, I guess. Twenty yeah. to four, something like that. Yeah. Because we've we've got to um, clear up, clear up a bit. 